Hello, good morning, beautiful people. What's going on? And uh, hopefully you're doing good. Today I'm going to be doing a couple of reviews for you. I wanted to do this earlier today, but I had a very long day yesterday. We had a cricket tournament and then I went to certain shops. You know, I had few things to do. So I finished my evening walk, 10,000 steps. I fell asleep. I was really exhausted. So I woke up, had dinner and I'm OK now. You know, I'm feeling energetic and I'm accompanied by my trusted tea. This is honey lemon tea. The lemon was obtained from my sister's garden in the rooftop. She has a quite nice little garden going on and uh, <clears throat> she has flowers and fruits and some other beautiful plants. So it's a very nice garden up there. So uh, I collect the lemons once in a while. So this is very, very nice, very tasty and I love honey lemon tea. So today, uh, first video I'm going to do House of Jean-Paul Gaultier, designer house. Designer is where the love is at <laughs> on most part for me. And this is the latest flanker from a very popular line called Lamal. Okay, you guys know Lamal is a top seller. It's one of the most iconic fragrances, and I it made to my number, some one of the numbers in top ten or top fifteen rather designer fragrance of all time. Okay, this is a legend. So obviously you guys know it has a lot of flankers. So we're gonna be looking at today Lamal on board. Okay, this latest flanker from 2021. There's some reviews on uh, YouTube and online. I think Ashton did and a few other reviewers did, but doesn't have as many reviews as I would like to see. Uh, this is a fantastic fragrance. Uh, I'll let you know who is it for. And I've been testing for a few days. I'll let you know longevity, if you should look at, looking at it, bottle size presentation, all that good stuff in detail. Okay. Uh, and please uh, uh, excuse me if I keep sipping on the tea once in a while, because when you wake up, the tea and coffee is just so nice, you know, but tea in general is very nice. So let's go one by one. I have quite a few bottles that I brought down here from Lamal Flankers because I want to compare. So Lamal basically, before the review starts, Lamal basically is a top seller. You guys know this iconic torso. Uh, this one has multiple bottle sizes, small bottles, big bottles, medium size bottles, life size bottles. And the thing is, everybody has this bottle if they're a collector for like last 10 years or so. Everybody loves this. Okay. And the fragrance sold so many bottles still sells like even after reformulation, these are more Newer formulation, I think, Puig or Pouage, uh, but before that, BPI versions were the more stronger ones. I have uh, the BPI version as well. I have Ultra Male, Lamal Le Parfum, and I have a lot of these freshies I will show you soon. So this thing still sells, but the flankers they made, they are kind of like deviation on most part. Some of them smell like Lamal, but some of them they don't. Okay, so let's see how the on board uh, feels like. I actually uh, didn't think I was going to buy it, but the bottle just made me fall in love with it. That's one big reason I'll show you. So it comes with typical tin can. This is 125 ml version. I don't know how many bottle sizes are there. In general, these come like maybe a 75, 125 or just this one standard size. I don't know. So I do apologize uh, for not having that information. So this basically is the EDT concentration, as you can see. Really nice. This lady is there, sailor lady or girlfriend of a sailor, I guess. Uh, if you've seen the perfect storm, uh, this uh, Lamal, like Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal line reminds me of that, you know, like uh, men on the sea and then, you know, like a crew of a ship or a sailors, you know, so uh, Navy people. It's really basically Lamal, as you can see from the stripes, it has that sort of uh, body, the t-shirts they wear. So Jean-Paul Gaultier house, I love that. Okay, love the house. And one thing you have to be a bit careful if you want to keep this presentation. I, I would love to keep this presentation. Okay, this one looks like the window or of the, the ship. I don't know what you call it, those glass windows uh, this one looks like that and back the picture of the bottle it's really lovely bottle i'll show you in a bit and the thing is up there and bottom so what i do here i usually cut just a little bit here so you can take it do not cut it with a can cutter okay uh, you have to take it out like this there's a podium the bottle stays secure in there uh, but if you take out the whole plastic see i put tape because i don't want to lose the picture if you take out the sticker i mean the plastic the whole picture of the bottle everything goes away even with the lady i think yeah Everything will go away and it will just remain with the tin can. But really nice, 125 ml. So here comes the bottle, follows the same bottle pattern. And I saw Ashton's review, I just, my favorite reviewer. Uh, he did perfect job on this. Take a look at the bottle, okay? I mean, yeah, you have many of these bottles, yet sometimes they make it so elegant, beautiful. I'll show you some more in a, as we go. Take a look at the blue. I don't know what the juice color is inside, but it's so stunning. It's like this... Uh, like a fresh, it's, it reminds me a little bit of this bottle, okay? The blue reminds me of Sedley by, uh, but it's a bit different. It's not exactly the same, but kind of got the same hue of the bottle on this, okay? Kind of, not the same. 
that's the bottle comes with the standard stopper okay you take this out that's you can spray so i have pre sprayed on the paper here let me do another uh, spray like let me show you how the sprayer works it works a little bit small sprayer then you can go big mist okay so really really good sprayer on this one amazing uh, atomizer and i think this bottle looks really lovely i got this simply for the bottle pictures is the aesthetics of the bottle very beautiful and the white stripes or oh, yeah looks lovely if you keep this in the daytime it's it will do more justice so how is this perfume okay uh, let me have one more sip at the tea excellent put more honey always awesome okay coming to this fragrance i was like yes no yes no uh, should i buy this should i look at this and uh, you know i do i need another flanker i saw a few days back george you know uh, he uh, the british reviewer he said you should stop buying lamal flankers it didn't hit me let me show you what else i got before the review starts lamal right i have ultra male and uh, the lamal leper from the back those are sweeter ones i'm not showing you those i had uh, superman o fresh i had uh, popeye o fresh i had this one the unredition these are all the same line then also have their summer edition okay i'm a big fan boy and i think the love basically i picked up from mark rob08 because this is his uh, favorite line i don't have as many obviously anywhere near but i did collect so many lobo mall this one not everybody has this is a bit uh, odd smelling one but it's okay and then i have the very popular this is lobo okay a uh, very beautiful uh, same not the same line but same house so uh, despite having all those i thought of myself like uh should i be getting this uh, is it just for the review i'm getting it or you have to tell yourself you have to justify your purchase uh, even if it uh, gets discounted or something even if you get a good deal sometimes you know you don't need everything in the world so i read the reviews before i start the review i read the reviews fragrantica people compared with ch man little bit little bit of citrus uh, ashton said it smells little bit like uh, citrus fresh blue nothing out of the ordinary very familiar smell like you won't not smell anything new in here and i read those and i'm like uh, i want it <laughs> do you know why because you know sometimes yeah you know you want that bottle first thing is the bottle i really love this bottle okay i love this second thing it gets compared to ch man okay i will talk about the ch man this is my vintage version the top note is gone off but the dry down still fantastic but you cannot find the ch man tie version anymore you get the new version it does not last so i did review aviator i did review in the navy many of the other ones but this one people compared with uh, aviator so i'll let you know my thoughts so now coming to the smell first of all it's a fantastic release okay longevity from this is very solid uh, it's subpar with i would say uh, it's better than labo definitely better than labo longevity wise it's like somewhere you know these flankers that i showed you just now uh, popeye andre superman okay this one goes almost same uh, performance longevity but projection wise this fragrance uh, is not as good of a projector as the let's say the other popeye fresh i love this i have a t-shirt that has this thing uh, this one projection is a little bit more because this is more sweeter they have differences in smell okay they go different direction not the same fragrance but yeah it has some similarity to aviator so the basic uh, similarity to aviator is they both have the ch man dna and they picked up a nice little dna mixed with the freshness but aviator is a little bit more green one thing it's a little bit more sweet and it's a little bit like herbaceous this one has that uh, ch man a little bit of herbaceous but it's a lot more aquatic citrus lemony when you smell it first up you know you will absolutely like it it's very light refreshing and it's like if you like sedley perfume marley sedley it's not that complex but same type it's like fresh crisp clean opening and nobody's going to hate this opening it's built to be safe okay yeah it can be boring a little bit many people who are enthusiasts who say nah this is like uninspiring okay so let's criticize a little bit then i'll give you the good points criticism is this is not a brand new release if you have ch man smell the dna will give you that vibe if you already have a lot of lamal flankers you can see that kind of like that watery lavender sort of like the uh, summery vibes they do this one has that but uh if you paying retail i don't think it's worth it do not pay retail 80 90 retail that's not worth this one but more or less the uh, good things i'll tell you uh, performance is solid as i told you longevity is good uh, 
the sillage i think it will work really good in high heat sort of like sunny situations spring summer autumn all this uh, time it will work but during the heavy winter this is something you will not smell it needs heat to work so perfect for the sunny days you know like those spring days uh, rainy days even it will be perfect it's kind of got this crisp crispness about it and i really like the crispiness and it's a little bit different than sage man it's not really like a sage man obvious obvious clone let me do one more spritz yeah uh let just for the opening top note the 2021 release you know like uh many fragrances got released uh but uh, this one is not getting so much talk so the opening is absolutely lovely a lot of citrus uh watery elements and it's crisp i think they got a little bit of heavy dose of mint there that's what my nose is picking up could be wrong but it's semi sweet semi fresh okay and then semi citrusy kind of vibe so you got the little bit of green thing going on but i think it's a crisp mint note okay which they used also in i think papayo fresh but this is a lot more uh, upgraded it's a very nice fusion of the sweet and fresh so if you like those kind of fragrances you like to wear a sweet fragrance in the summer time this is a fragrance will not be overbearing sweet but have just enough sweetness t-shirt casual uh, let's say working ideal guy think of a guy working in a car uh, dealership okay this guy is wearing a t-shirt with that collar and he has to work with a lot of employees and he has to work with a lot of customers he has to handle he has to be on the go you know i think of people who are car dealers cool guys you know they have a lot of knowledge they are fun they are entertaining they are charismatic you know they know marketing so this kind of people would wearing this and they will smell smart this is very smart fragrance okay i don't know what i mean by that but it smells smart it doesn't smell like a dumb a sailor that's what i'm trying to say and it also has a kind of like that sea vibe that's going on at the same time that's what is different from ch men okay uh, so you can get it as a i would call this like if it was a ch men release i'd call this ch men all fresh or ch men summer or something like not sport ch men uh, let's say sailing you know you get the idea right so they sort of did the fusion but there is no lamal dna like the original one i don't find anything in this from those okay so it's a very modern interpretation of uh, fragrances nowadays so if you have been a fan of lamal you may not like it okay because you will not find that lavender standard vanilla you will not find those things here tonka is not a powdery fragrance it's very different refreshing fragrance mostly for summer and uh, spring okay or summer and um, autumn you know those kind of times okay so you can go for morning walk a late night when it's a little bit breezy you can wear it it will be like giving this metallic cooling vibe uh, so you get those vibes from it so it's like a sea accord not salty but watery accord uh citrus mint the sweet sugary echo from ch man and then the basically it's like a bright fresh crisp uplifting fragrance okay and that metallic vibe and it's a very safe perfume okay if you want to collect this for the bottle it's a 10 for the bottle okay? i really love this and i think this fragrance is absolutely stunning i'll give this a lot more love than many other sir uh, because i like it genuinely if you like a fragrance just admit it you know if it doesn't smell like niche so what right so overall this is a solid perfume performance is very very solid for this kind of fragrance it's not 10 out of 10 but overall this fragrance i'm giving like a solid 8.5 out of 10 it's a very nice release very nice bottle and if you are a simple person who enjoys good things in life simple things in life try this out okay if you like fragrances like versace purom nautica voyage versace menu fresh this will be right up your alley thank you very much for watching time for the second review and uh, then we'll do perhaps one episode on life take care bye bye